know, Jamaica or uh, St. Lucia, another country. St. Lucia put their salaries 10% above permanent secretaries for ministers. You would not see that. But re in fact, I have said it before to the union or union brothers and sisters when uh, the, a question was asked the last time we met about what kind of sacrifice the ministers are going to make. And I did, um, I made a preamble statement before I answered the question. I said, look, you know, you're right to ask in this, you know, because we politicians are the, are the ones that have treated us ourselves badly. The problem we have in Grenada is not just the people, it's the politicians that have accused and attacked each other unfairly about salaries and emoluments to the point that they cannot, when they get into office, they cannot turn around and change it. <laughs> that is the problem. And my view is to answer your question directly. I fundamentally disagree that people's ministers should be getting that low salary that they're getting in the country. I am saying if we continue like this, is only people like myself who felt they were in a reasonably good position in the private sector and in my professional life that I could give up that with the stability of my personal situation and family situation and come and make a sacrifice. I don't think many people are likely to be in that position. And if we are waiting to just have people like that, you will end up with a lot of carpet baggers as politicians, and in some cases, people who will go there only to get what they can want, could get. And you will find a lot of corruption, personal corruption in the system. And I, I, I fear, I hope and pray, will stop that decline. So there need to be some sort of national committee that looks and the whole question of salaries within the public sector, that includes parliamentarians. I would not initiate it because that was the first thing that would be said. And since I'm not this in this for the salary, and I'm in the twilight of my political life, maybe when I get out of government, I would make up, I would join such a call. So I would not be seen as a beneficiary of any decision of this nature. So look out for me when I get out. <laughs> morning. <laughs> Thank you. Do you think that um, Grenadians has come around to really accept the 15% that would be um, taken off uh, the salaries of persons owning $3,000, um, over $3,000? Over, you mean, over. Yes. Well, <laughs> um, I cannot say that they agree. I think what has happened that people understand why it is necessary, right? I might comply with something because I believe it's necessary, but not necessarily <laughs> saying that I want it to happen. So it's hard. My friend, I've said over and over, this is a hard call to ask people in this hard time to give up piece of their income where they're already under serious tight squeeze with their own personal situation. I've said it over and over, and I don't want anybody to, to take it otherwise that this has been a painful decision on my part and recommendation because I have friends who, who, who will be suffering enormously. And of course, um, people who I know support my organization and support the hard working of our country whether or not they support our party. And I, 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 I feel for all of them because it is not, it is not, it is not easy. So I, I don't expect people to be happy with this. <laughs> you know, if I thought that this was not necessary, you would never see me talking about this at all. question, please, sir. Is that the only means um, that you 
could use as a means of um, dealing with our national death bill, or do you have other means? No, no, that my friend, no, clearly not, clearly not, no, 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 there's, a, there's a, a combination of measures. Okay. This, I think the minister, the PSN Finance did say that will bring about $23 million. $23 million a year can't solve our, can't solve our problem. So that's just one measure. There are a number of measures that we are dealing with. The question of the property tax, that's one area. The, also the question of dealing with, with um, the leakages in the customs and in and revenue. The question where a number of people doing reasonably well, not even filing income tax and not paying a cent. I'm talking about people making hundred, two hundred thousand dollars $200,000 and paying nothing. We have to get those to, to meet their share of responsibility to the country. That's another one. There are some fees that are cake that, uh, that were <laughs> the paper you get that you have to use to, to, to implement that, that, that service is more than the fees we charge. Because some of the fees was in the 1950s and 60s. Clearly, we will improve those. Um, we said again that some of the hospital fees, some of us who are able to pay should pay more. And those persons who are asked to pay now and are not able to pay and therefore can't get the service must be given the service free. Uh, now, and my view is that the vulnerable must be protected and therefore even school books and so on, I, I can't, to, I can't, I can't in conscience. When a country is under serious economic trip, taking three school books and give my child and I can't, no, I think that's fundamentally immoral. Take the money that you give my child and give it to a poor child for transport and uniform to go to school. So you cut the transport allowance. The poor child can't go to school. You cut the uniform allowance. The electricity home is cut off so they can't be on the information highway. So they can't have education that is modernized and in keeping a competition in the 21st century. But then you're giving my child's free school books. Immoral. I can't be part of that. Prime Minister, let me ask it and then she'll. George want to wind up. <laughs> Prime Minister, your decision to go after the tax delinquents is something that I'm, I'm very, very pleased to see that Grenada seems to have accepted very, very readily. And one, I'd like you to provide some assurance to the public that that is, in fact, going to happen. Yes. Secondly, sir, um, there's a, a feeling that by imposing this 15% uh, tax on a lower income, you're taking, you're taking monies out of people's pockets. And I thought your goal might be to try and get monies into the system. Yes. So would you address yes, that? I, I, thought, I saw that debate, George, and I understand the point you're making. In another time and another place, I would agree with you. But let me say this, why, why in this time, I could say that it is not as simple as that. Because the resources that we are getting can now be used to aid some of the initiatives that those income persons will be able to get. For example, when the unions brought up the issue of what it, the effect it can have in on people wanting to build homes, some of the resources we get will be put into home income building for middle income and low income persons in the country. So it will not in fact hurt the expansion of the construction sector. It can aid the expansion of the construction sector but let's face it, George, if you're getting at least $100 million a year from based on the estimates so far in cash, then you can see the amount of opportunities that we can bring for various sectors, whether it's health, education. In addition, don't forget the citizenship by investment program for the question our sister asked a while ago would bring in a substantial amount of money. A lot of this will go towards aiding efforts in building private sector initiative to encourage people not to wait on government to create jobs for them, but to try to create opportunities for themselves in the society. So I would agree with you if it was just like that, but the additional support, and let's face it, the cutting of the debt by substantial amount 
would give us in room, more room now to invest some of the monies that we have to spend on debt to invest in the people of our country at all levels in the society. So there are, in fact, several layers of opportunities for the same people who will have, in fact, been marginalized by the decision we took. Yes. Yes, the delinquents, no, I, I'm, 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 I'm happy you've stated this, and I, 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 I certainly hope that the country will continue to support this. And we, we said 100, there are more. We just gave the first 100. There are quite a bit more. And we are going. <laughs> we are, we, I'll tell you something. I tell people, just look out, just watch. One thing you can judge me on is fairness. You will not hear a George Grant come in and say to me, you are my friend or my party supporter. Ease me up. That's the last thing you're going to hear. Because I know that, in fact, would derail the entire effort. So if a supporter really cares for his party and his country, he will not come and ask me for, to do this. And when he comes, I will say to him, when I do this, you expect it to remain quiet? he will have to tell me no. When I do this, therefore, do you believe I could tell the next person to pay? He has to keep quiet. End of story. <laughs> so, <laughs> my final question is, on June 28th, we Grenada approved the electronic crime bills and a number of yes. other bills. Um, that has resulted in quite a number of stories in the community. Um, I know that the bill has been um, approved by the Governor General, but a commitment was made to make some changes yes. and amendments. What is the status of that amendment? Yeah, we made a commitment to change certain paragraphs. We, have, we ask the Attorney General to meet with um, some of our friends in the media. Um, and I think at least one took on the responsibility. And I think they're working on this to make the changes. I would have preferred to go on Friday with it, but I understand it's not ready. But I, you have my commitment that I am going to. And not because I believe this thing is, is what people say it will be. My feeling is, if it's controversial, then why leave it there? Because I, since I don't intend to use it to my benefit, and it's causing hiccups, it's, like the, it's just like the 6%. If it's causing a problem, then why, why continue with it? when it's interfering with a big message. Same thing with the crime bill. Thank you. Thank you so very much, Prime Minister. Thank you to Minister Modest. Thank you to our friends in the media. And thank you to everyone who was listening and viewing. Excellent job. Have a pleasant day, everyone. <laughs>